This is a video about a Desmos document I made called Mean Value Theorem for Differentiation. And just as the name states, that's basically what it is. It kind of proves the Mean Value Theorem as well as Rawls Theorem for differentiation. So the first thing we have here is this f of x equals x squared. You can put any function in here if you want. I just chose x squared because it kind of gives a, a neat result here. This m right here finds the slope between the points w and z. So when x is w and when x is z. And these two, these two variables are represented right here with sliders. Um, they're also color-coded right here. Um, I have it labeled down here. So the w is going to be the orange and the z is going to be the blue. You don't really need to know that. Just know that this part right here is making the, the equation of the secant line between this point and this point here. Okay, so that's all that first part is doing right here. And then here it's telling you the slope. So the slope of this line is 2, and the y-intercept is 3. As you can see, it's 3 right there. And then it's graphing it out. You can control your w and z right here if you want to change them. I'm just going to keep them where they are for right now. Okay, this part right here, well, based on mean value theorem, it states that between any two points, if there's a continuous function between these two points right here, um, the slope of those two points, of those endpoints here, um, whatever the slope is, there's going to be somewhere where there is uh, an exact same slope for the tangent line between, for that function that's in between those two points. And that is represented by the purple here. So this purple right here is, here's the equation for it. And how this equation, if you care to know where it came from, g of x is equal to the derivative of f of x, that's what this is stating right here. And then I basically just set the slope equal to g of a. Now since a is not known, it's not defined anywhere else, this this function right here is, is dictating what a is. So it's finding out where exactly that, a, that the x is, for the, in this case the a, the a is representing the x, where the slope of the secant line is equal to whatever the slope of the tangent line is between those two points. So if you understand mean value theorem, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about here. So in between these two points, this point right here has the exact same slope as this right here. Okay. Not only does it do that, it also I also have it where it finds the b of that tangent line as well. So if you need the equation of that tangent line um, based on mean value theorem, it shows it right here. The b is equal to 1 for the tangent line. As you can see, it's equal to 1 right here. The slope is the same as the slope for the secant line, 2 right here. So I didn't, I didn't bother actually showing that because it's just it's right up there. So that's basically how it works, like how I set it all up. And from here, you can experiment. So if I move this right here, this secant line, you can see that the slope changes, and it, in this point also changes to find where it matches that same slope, where there's a tangent line that has the same slope as the secant line. And then for Rawls' theorem, if you make the w and the c the exact same y value, so let's just say this will be, w can be equal to 1, let's just say 2, and then our z, let's just make that negative 2. So now you can see right here Rawls' theorem in play. The slope between these two points is zero, and there is a min right here where the slope ends up being zero, um, and that's basically what Rawls' theorem states. If there is two points, and in between those two points there is a continuous function, and those two points have the exact same y value, the slope between them is zero, then there is a min or a max, in this case it's going to be a min, right here. So um, that's basically mean value theorem for differentiation as well as Rawls theorem um, using this Desmos document. If you have any questions about this Desmos document, please ask. I'm going to put a link to this, this document onto the YouTube information um, section of this video. So if you want, you can click it and uh, access it yourself. So if you have any questions, let me know.